Alright, what's up guys? It's X2Robbie2X here. And I'm back with some Minecraft Modding Made Easy. And today our tutorial is going to be on drop rates. So we're going to have drop rates for uh, pretty much items, farming blocks, and also for monsters. So let's let's go first and do it for blocks. Now let me get rid of that. Okay, so if we look at our block class... Uh, mine's block block him, and we see the id drop method. Now we see that the id drop method um, passed in a random rand, so we no longer need to create a random rand, but we do need to create a some kind of an integer. So make a uh, int. I don't know. Let's let's actually make this a class variable. So put it right right before the um, constructor. But still, just put it in the class. So let's go ahead and do um, private, or I don't know, we can just do public. Uh, not static, not final. Public. Uh, what I want. Public int. And then let's name it rare. And for this, we're going to do, instead of our id dropped method, we're going to go ahead and say rare equals. Um, rand because that's the one we passed in and you're gonna do next int and now here we're gonna put a number that um, that is the maximum that it like basically here we're gonna input a number that is that that accounts for how many values you want randomized I guess that makes sense I don't know so let's go ahead and make this um, 20 and put a semicolon on that. So rare equals rand dot next int twenty. Now what this means is that rare every time this method is called rare will become a integer anywhere from zero to nineteen, which is equal to twenty numbers because it counts zero. So um, to actually make stuff drop, let's go ahead and comment this out real quick. To make stuff drop, you want to make if statements. So let's go ahead and if um, rare is, I don't know, less than 5. So there would be a 25% chance of dropping this. We can go ahead and say return index. So if um, when this random when this random thing goes on, when rare becomes a random integer from 0 to, 20, 0 to 19, um, if that random integer is less than five, so be zero, one, two, three, four, um, it drops an it drops a diamond. And then we can do if rare is less than ten. Um, and don't forget the this these this is the and in if statements. This is this is what means and. It's ampersand ampersand two ampersands. And you're gonna need to retype rare is greater than four. So if rare is less than 10 and rare is greater than 4, let's go return item dot, uh, what else, what else can we drop? Um, and then what's something, let's do redstone dot shifted index. Now shifted index is uh, pretty much like the block ID for items. So it just returns the item ID. And then we're going to do the last one, we're going to do else. So if the random integer from 0 to 19 is less than 5, it's going to return a diamond. If it's less than 10, but greater than 4, meaning 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, eh, probably should have exited out of steam. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, meaning another 25% added on that. Um, then we'll, it'll drop redstone. And then else, meaning if it's anything else other than those those two, then let's go ahead and return mod underscore blockium dot blockium block dot block id. So there's a 25% chance it's going to drop a diamond, 25% chance to drop redstone, and then anything else, meaning the 50% chance, it's going to drop a blockium block. Now you can tag as many ifs as you want onto this. And you can make this like a hundred. You can make this like a thousand. And you can make these like if rare instead of okay. I'll do I'll do this one also. So let's go if rare equals equals. 
because when you're checking for equality in if statements, it has to be two equals. So if for equals equals 11 or 10, then it drops return item sword diamond that shifted index. So this pretty much means when the value is 10, when the integer is 10, it's going to drop a diamond sword. So that's a 1 out of 20 chance to get a diamond sword, a 5 out of 20 chance to get a redstone, 1 redstone dust, 5 out of 20 chance to get a diamond, and a 9 out of 20 chance to get a blocky and block. So let's go ahead and look at this. Yeah, I should probably exit out of Steam before doing this, but whatever. So, I already played around with this a bit, so I have a diamond in my inventory. Okay, that was weird. I hope you guys can see this, because it is kind of dark. I don't have any torches. But, alright, so let's mine this blockium, and we get a blockium block. If we mine this one, blockium block. We get some redstone. Blocky and block, blocky and block, blocky and block, blocky and block. Wow, this is really common. There's some diamond, diamond, redstone. So it's really sort of random, but as you see, blocky and blocks. Oh, there goes a um, diamond sword. So as you see, um, it's really random, but it you can set the drop rates. So even though it's still random, um, diamonds and redstone drop at about the same rate. Blocking blocks drop at a definitely a more common rate, and then a bl diamond sword is definitely the, the most rare out of those. I can place this down again, do, 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 do. and you know, remine them. We're getting some more blocks, 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 redstone. All right. So now that we have that. Let's go ahead and I'm actually going to I'm going to comment this out for now and I'm going to return just a block cuz I don't yeah but I'm going to put some comments on this after the video Okay so now let's look at our monster mod the the mob that we made If you look in there mine is empty blocking monster and if you look in the get drop item ID it's pretty much the same exact thing as ID dropped. But this does not pass in a random variable. So what you're going to want to do is right above your constructor, right below your class, or somewhere in your class. So it is not in a method, but it is still contained within the class. So after first opening brace, you're going to want to type random and then whatever you want to call your random variable so here we call it rand so let's go ahead and random rand equals new random and then op uh, opening and closing parentheses and then it's going to give you a it's going to underline your random variable and that is because you did not pass in um, random the package so you can either go ahead and hover your mouse over it in clips and the first option should be import random java util so it's right there it, it pops it up right there for you or what you also can do is you go to your block blockium and copy this code right here import java.util.random so both of those work and your random will now work so now that we have the random up there we can go ahead and get item drop id so it, let's do oh yeah we also need to make a class variable so um public int rare and our get drop ID we're gonna do rare equals rand dot next int uh, I'm gonna do five so it goes from zero to four and let's go ahead if um I don't know if rare is equals equals zero then it's gonna drop uh a uh, What's some cool things that I can drop? Let's go ahead and do return item dot diamond dot shifted index and else so if it's anything but oops so if, yeah if it's anything but um 
but zero, which meaning one, two, three, or four, it returns a co the cookies that we made. So basically, there's a 20% chance that you get a diamond and a 80% chance that you get the cookies from killing this monster. Now, also, <coughs> hmm, also, um, what did I want? I wanted something else. Oh yeah, um, whenever you're doing these ifs inside of uh, inside of get drop item ID or inside the block blockium. Make sure you have an else statement because you will get an error that, for example, if like if rare equals zero, and then if you do if rare equals one, it drops this. So then it pretty much checks like what if rare is not equal to zero or one. So you're gonna need an else statement to cover everything besides that. And even though let's say our ra random variable goes to uh, one to uh, I mean zero to four. Even if we did like if rare equals zero, one, two, three, four, it's still gonna give us an error if we don't put an else. Because it's some like it's just eclipse. Like Java does not like losing data, Java does not like losing precision. Java is really like strict about that, so just put an else statement somewhere in there. Uh, you can also do like if you're gonna do like everything has a twenty percent chance of dropping, you can do like Fair equals one, two, three, four, and then if you don't do an else statement, what you can do is just put another one of these. So we, if we do if rare equals equals one, and now you don't need a you don't need an else statement. You can just do return mod underscore blockium dot blockium. Uh, what can we blockium uh, chest dot shifted index. So this is pretty much mean if it's zero, um just return this. If it's one, return this, and then it doesn't have an else statement, but there's this. So if it's neither of those, it just returns a chest. And let's go look at that. So there's a twenty percent chance of dropping diamond, twenty percent chance of dropping the cookies, and a um sixty percent chance of dropping the chest. So we go back in our world. And I do not have an amulet, which sucks. I think this is how we... Nope. This is how you make it. Uh, I probably should have taken the durability off. It's going to bug me. Alright. So now... So it dropped cookies. Didn't drop anything? That's weird. Here he goes, a chest. Okay, I want some diamonds. There you go, I just saw a diamond. So, I mean, that's pretty much tutorial. Let me put, let me put this chest on just so I look badass. Alright, yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much tutorial. These are drop rates. They're pretty... Hey, there. They're pretty, uh, pretty convenient, I guess, if you're gonna do some mobs or blocks that drop different things. And, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Comment down below in the com comment uh, section. And don't forget your questions and suggestions and errors and whatnot. Um, don't forget to put those in the, the minecraftforum.net link that is down in, in, the, uh, in, in the description. Do not forget to go there. I rarely answer my PMs just because I get swarmed with PMs with errors. So if you got an error, go to that forum because I'm more on there answering errors than I would be uh, answering errors in PMs. So you have, oh, you have, all right, well that sucked. Yeah, you have more of a chance to uh, catch me answering an error on there. So that's all I got to say, and I hope you like the, hope you like tutorials. So uh, see ya.